What's up guys? This is your boy Ngubi the entertainer. Wala wala jiri bo sulo jimu nati. Mina no ko. Today, I am not coming with jiri bo sulo jimu nati, but it's just history. So, a couple of people have been um asking me and texting me, actually commenting in the comment section that they would want to know how I got hijacked the green golf. Tuelo. So, ah, when they asked, I was not in a good space. I was not in a good space. I was angry. I was frustrated. I was feeling like everyone is just against me. I was just fighting everyone internally. So, I was fight not fighting only uh, in specific places, but I was fighting everyone. Just knowing you. Yeah, I was fighting everyone. Everyone was a suspect. <laughs> So that's why I couldn't um, get to talk about it sooner. So now I am in a good space. Uh, I've moved on. Even you can see that there's <laughs> there's tweet <tuitua> here. <laughs> it's no longer painful. <laughs> Sorry about that. Why would you ask me to talk about how I lost that green car when I'm walking? But you guys are funny, you know. You guys are very funny. Why would you ask me to? to talk about that when when it's still so now it's no longer so so i decided that sharp i'm gonna break the story to everyone you can't talk about painful things at the moment where they're still affecting you ah never hey it was painful at that time okay uh, i'm gonna start with um how it was going i th it, i think it was on the 20 it was on the 23rd of September 2021. Mm. On the 22nd, on the 22nd, I left Limpopo because Zakes was having Zakes from 0264 Stance Maniac, is, 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 is my friend in Northwest, Le Claville. So he was having a show uh, on the 26th. So. I left home around the 22nd because there was other shoots I had to to actually make that side of Gauteng and um, neighboring places. So I leave home on the 22nd. I arrive nicely there. I get to Northwest, Northwest province. I start um, texting people the people I should be meeting up with. Yeah, I'm around. We can organize the shoot. We can do the shoot. And the episodes are... The episodes are like game. The episodes are game. So, while I, I, I organized all those shoots, it was time now to go shoot. I went to shoot. 22nd. Go to shoot. I go to shoot. 23rd of September. I get other shoots. So I finished. I I won't. I won't say. Um, I won't even uh, say who I was with. In, like, it would look like I'm trying to say the person, the last person I went to shoot, is somehow responsible. You understand? But nah, so, uh, I'm no longer there. So guys, I've moved on. I want to make it clear. I'm not giving you this story because i want to point fingers or i'm trying to find out uh, uh, actually who could have and no 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 i'm not that type of person i i move on real quick and make sure that i focus on myself and improve so yeah back to the story i did shoot uh, 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 on the 22nd and on the 23rd after shooting I decide that oh, you know what I'm gonna go I am gonna go uh, yeah I'm gonna go gonna go home I'm gonna go to Limpopo and I'll probably be back on the 25th so that I can be available and cover Zakes from 026 for Stance Maniac event the stand, is it I don't know I don't remember the show exactly you can click this link click this link here 
click this link and you will see which show it was. I don't remember the name quite clearly. So, when I was done shooting on the 23rd, I started leaving. I, I wanted to go back to Limpopo. So, I'm heading to... I'm heading through Northwest. I was not shooting in the Northwest when I got hijacked. I was in Gauteng. After finishing my shoot in Gauteng, I get through Northwest because there are a couple of people I need to see, Kobretz, and from there, I go home. So, when I left uh, Jobek, it was around three. It was around three. And I arrived in Northwest around five, four. I don't remember the time clearly. I'm using, uh, I'm entering, I don't know the roads because I was using the GPS, but the road where everything happened, I remember it. It's R511. I'm using R511, right? Uh, next to Harte BS. You know, as guys, we are playing loud music and you are inside your car and you are driving like this and you are just tired. You just want to go. I'm driving like this. This sound. This is me going home. My window is open up until... Up until here. My window is open up until here. So... When I was on the R511, passing that hard DBS place, uh, I want to, there's this off ramp I want to take, so I can go join, is it N14? No, no, it's not N14. Which, which N leads to N1 from R511? Those who know, you know. From R511, I think it's N4, N, N12, 14. Hey, I don't know. I'm not going to act like I know this road. How? Oh, there's no degree in knowing this road. You like, I hate that road anyway. <laughs> Why would I want to know it? So, that off ramp, ne? I'm heading home. Remember that I I, 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 I told Zakes that I'm going to be around for his show, but then now I'm deciding that I'm going to go home. I'll be back on the 25th. Because I couldn't just stay there and there's nothing. Because I hope that I'll be having shoots throughout the week. So, it's, it's a waste for me to just stay there and get to book accommodation and nothing is happening you understand so now i'm just wasting money chilling there as if i'm on vacation and i'm, I'm not dead for vacation so i just said with this money i'm gonna just go petrol go petrol and go home right i told i didn't tell zakes because he was gonna say oh, don't go don't go don't go he was gonna think i'm not gonna come back but i was gonna come back anyway so while i'm on that road i'm driving like this going home on that off ramp I'm turning and then this white polo comes I remember it very clearly uh, this white polo comes and it comes closer to me in my head I'm like someone wants to say you could be the entertainer and I'm ready to say hey, away, away, and that guy comes closer to me and then I start decreasing my speed Start decreasing my speed. I, I think maybe they want to talk. So don't you're not gonna talk to me anymore when I'm driving. You're not gonna talk to me anymore. You're not gonna talk to anyone. So I won't even stop to say hi until I don't. So that guy came closer, came closer, and then he overtake. But then he was overtaking next to me. He was like, there were three in the car. It was like, like this. So now I, I really start breaking. I really start breaking breaking because uh, now I don't get why is this guy literally coming for me now maybe they want to talk I feel like he's gonna damage my pain and I don't want to hit those potholes I don't want to get us outside of the road I start decreasing the speed when the polar is in front of me it didn't have a rear number plate it didn't have a rear plate when that polar is in front of me this guy from the, this guy this guy from this seat not this one this one in the polo this one opens the door falls out now my attention is on this guy 
I don't even wanna. That time we decreased speed because they started by coming close to me. And then when this guy falls out, I don't wanna run him over. I'm like, hey, what's happening? As while I'm still concentrating on that guy, I think the other one got out. I was still looking at this one. That one came out. He's here with a gun. My window is open. That's when I start hearing. <laughs> Those fucking fucked up weights. Luckily, I'm I'm wearing my 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 my, my. this track pants, Nike track pants with zips, and I'm having my phones in my pockets and I zip them up. And then I'm like, eh, what's happening now? And then that guy uh, puts his and his hand inside my car and then opens and he opens because he broke the handle outside when he tried opening the first time and then he realized that it's locked that's when he started moving me and shit but then you know these things they like i think they have a little bit of mood I, my car was still on it was still in gear all i needed to do was just to start driving just to start pressing i think when these things never happened to you you relax and you're like can you don't you don't become that vigilant but once they happen i'm telling you gonna run you over you come closer to me i start by hitting your car you see now with the type of person i, be, I became now i'm just and i'm not friendly to pe other people driving on the road so my car was still on but then i left him to open then when i realized that no nah, this is actually real I was like, ah, I'm not going to die for, 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 for a car. I'm much better than a car. And then when he removed me, when he opened, he removed me. And I just, I just, just he just did this. Pulled me out. And I, stand, I stood outside. And I watched Tsuilo go. Yeah, I watched Tsuilo go. I was chilling. I, I'm standing there. Watching Tsuilo go. Oh, oh, oh. Eh. This is real. The driver of the Polo never got out of the car. Hey, this is real. Most this is a hijack. I got hijacked. I'm stranded. I'm in the whole northwest province. With no one to assist me. Nah, nothing. I'm having nothing, it's just me besides the road with my phone. And luckily I had internet connection. And then the first person I called was Solo. My other friend called Solo Mahwili. I called him like, bruh, I went through this and this and this and this and that. I'm in the northwest province, I'm alone, I'm stranded. And I'm scared even, I'm just frustrated as well. And then Sello says, sends me money. Like, that guy sent me 5k. Yeah, I think it's 5k. He sent me 5k. Like, sort your stuff out. I also called Sly. And I also called um, Blakey. Manji Manji. Uh, I think I also called B. Those ones I was just telling them, like, this is what I'm going to do. And then, now, I go to the police station. This is me. Police station. I'm trying to walk to the police station, but I don't even know which police station is the closest. Don't even think Ubers are around that place. I get a lift. Straight to police station. When I get there, I start talking. Yeah, what, 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 what did it? Tota, tota, muisa, what thing? And shapa hella ha, and shapa hella ha. I told Abu Lalbatila, me, Omong, I have Arab Alice, go classy, go, go. And then that's it. I open the case. After that, now I'm I'm still having my reality. I take that money. I book. I sleep. I remember, I remember that I still had money myself. And then 
my friends send me money and like the sly send me money blakey send me money zilla send me money i was saving lots and lots of money i didn't even feel like i was hijacked <laughs> maybe that money made me feel good so i booked now i have to i i told i i, I tell zakes okay i didn't even post about it i was very angry i just like it's god's will it's god's will if it was not supposed to happen to me it wasn't gonna happen but since it happened it was god's will i'm gonna let it go so i booked i stayed the next day uh i think that's when i started calling zakes from 026 first tense maniac I tell him hey bro this is what happened blah 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 it's like hey bro why did you just say early you are very late you must say this that at the moment your car is gone it's like come to my house now I'm like hey like, come to my house now. We're going to look for your car. That's me. I'm Ubering. I'm using this taxi. What, what? They gave me this Uber guy. They gave me this Uber guy. It's an Uber guy. It's like, don't Uber. It's a Megzi. Yeah. And then you took me to Le Cabin. From Bert Brett, I go to Le Cabin. Go to Zig Zig. like, hey, bro, why didn't you say? We were supposed to go follow your car fast. Sharp. And now we go around um Strata. They call it Strata. Uh, I've never been so shocked. We go around and we use Oh and there's this guy uh, called Dix. Dix I think I featured him in the episode as well. Click this link, you'll see who Dix is. Click this link. And then Dix uh when I told, um, um, when I told, okay, Zakes told me about Strata that we're gonna look for your car there using Strata. Sharp. I don't know how. Uh, oh, Dalton. Uh, Dalton uh, somehow came in. Click this link, you'll see who Dalton is. Click this link. It's the guy driving that white GTI. Dalton said, We're gonna help you find your car. I heard the news. I'm gonna assign Dix to help you. And then Dix uh, says, Sharp, calls me, Dix Sharp, uh, well, I'm going to come to you and we're going to go to Strata as well. So now I have these two people telling me about Strata. Uh, now we go. We go to the streets. I won't specify where. way. We go look for this. We go to places. We find cars. Wherever we see cars, we just look, just look around, just look. But I never saw, just never saw mine. I never saw mine. And I got tired of seeing other people's cars and not seeing mine. So I was like, Dick said, oh, it was late. It was late around 9 p.m. And I told him, Dix, I told Dix that, bro, I'm tired. Zakes, please take me home now. I'm tired of this. We are spending money, time, and energy on this, and it's gone. So let's just cut it out. Let's go. Let's leave. Dix went back to Pretoria. And yeah, I went back to Brett's. And Zakes went to Little Bean. Dix calls me the next day, bro. There's a match description. What, what, what? I'm, I'm frustrated. And sorry, Dix, because I know you were trying so hard to help me. It hurt this guy as if it was his car. This guy called me 90, 20 times. I was frustrated. I felt like everyone just wants to scare me. That time on Facebook, I'm receiving 3,000 calls. Like, you see, when you post your car, you're just inviting scammers. Hey, I've seen you. Hey, hey, let me tell you this other one. He calls me. Like, you know. Eh? Is there some gobe? <laughs> and in the background, it's playing this police sound. I'm like, yeah. But yeah, we well, found your car here in Rustenburg. <laughs> we found your car here in Rustenburg. Uh, it's on the roadblock. Uh, what you need to do is to organize the rollback. To come and carry it. 
Hey, those guys are good actors. Yo, uh, James, if you're watching this. <laughs> If all your car is in the rule book, and what you need to do is to organize a breakdown or roll back to come and collect. Uh, the license plate is DFD five two three GP. Okay, a uh, green golf Chico. It's <laughs> all of those things. So uh, those people they act out all of that. And then, oh, that time I was with my sister. My sister's like, ah, man, who are you talking to? Got these people. They say they found my car. Sharp. Uh, oh, the numbers I got from Legani, uh, Charles. I also did an episode on him. Click this link and see who Charles is. He's driving. He was driving this car, this car of which he sold from my channel. So yeah, if you have, if you're selling your car and you put it here, it's gonna get sold. It got sold. Yeah, people were like, "Hey, your car is expensive." He wanted seventy, and they did buy it for seventy. There's always a buyer for your car. I'm telling you, don't. Don't get fooled around with these people who give nasty comments because you set up your price. I mean, the golf had air suspension, leather interior seats. Uh, just leave this link and see why he said 70k. But people still say, hey, it's too much. But unfortunately, the ones who were saying it's too much, they were never going to buy even if it was 20,000. So the right people came with patience. He was patient. And then the right people came in, they took it. So yeah, I, he's the one who made it official post on Facebook after two two days after I got hijacked. So people were contacting him and he was passing them to me, Legani. Mexican Charlie. My brother from childhood. So my sister's like, eh, who are you talking to? Because these people they say they found my car. Now it's in Rustenberg. They need a rollback. Like I'm I, I want to pay them. I remember I, I'm having money. I'm having money and I'm hoping this money will help get my car back. I want to pay them. They call me the second time. We're still waiting for your for your for your for your rollback. Or we should we organize you one? Yeah, yeah, please organize me one. And they call me again. We, we've organized one. Uh, it will need a uh, one thousand two, but you can now uh, send four hundred, so that uh, the remaining balance you can pay it when we are there. Sharp. Sure. I tell my kids, I'm like, yeah, it's understandable. Four hundred, yeah, sharp. Sure. And they call. Uh, the one hey, you took long. That one left. Now is the one. The one which can help you now, it needs 800 and you know, settle the balance. Eh, I'm like, hey, this money is going higher and higher. My sister's like, hey, those people are clowns. They're not for real. They want to scam you. And then I call Charlie. I'm like, bruh, these people are saying this and this and then. Ah, Charlie says, Ma, Abon, don't entertain them. There's no way because there's no way uh, you can pay for a rollback if your car was stolen. The, the government has rollbacks. The government has breakdowns. The government has all these things. So you don't pay for your car to get brought back to you. You don't pay anything. And I left him. Ish. Others are cool. Hey, man. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Your car is here in Sosha. It's in 13. <clears throat> they're scraping it right now. They're, they're, they're scraping it. They're scraping it. The, what is it when that? What's scraping? What's the perfect way when you're removing the paint? that thing they are doing that thing to it and they're going to give it paint i'm the, i am a mechanic who's that boy this clown so after that boy now i'm i'm with doshki doshki is like he's a clown we just gotta move him i'm like i leave him we're just trying to make quick cash doshki wants us to move him sharp we get a text you get a text. There's this other text. And then there are chains. Uh, I'm scared now. I'm with these guys now. <laughs> like, you, have you ever felt danger? Yeah. I feel like uh, these guys I'm with. I, this is serious danger. I don't like it. And then I video call. I video call my girlfriend. I'm like, babe. Look. I just turned the camera. I was like. She's like, yeah. What are you doing with those people? Why are you going? I'm like, shh. I was searching for the people who took my car. How do you know them? How did you end up with them? And I'm like, relax. It's like, don't turn into a, an evil man. I'm like, eh. It's like, but the person who took your car, you must kill him. Eh. 
But like, hey, 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 hey. I must not turn into an evil man, but the person who took my car, we must kill it. Oh, oh, okay. When we went to that boy's house, I, I said, I, I, gents, Doshki. No, no, no. Let's leave. Let's leave this boy. It's not worth it. Then we left. Now Doshki wants us to go seek for the car. You go around. Like, Doshki is very angry. Doshki, is very, I think I spent a week. Oh, I stopped booking. When I went to Sosha, I stopped booking and I stayed at Doshki's house. With his family. Yo. Doshki was very angry. Every day was waking up. Let's go. Let's go. Ay. Ah, I ended up saying, ah, man, this thing is draining me now. I'm going home to Limbobo. When I left, before I left, it's the 26th, now Zeke's event is here. I gave up on seeking the car. I go to Zeke's event, click this link, you'll see it. And then I shot, I shot, I shot, I did my event coverage. And then I got finished, after I got finished, I, I just went home and lived my life. And from there, I just said, you know what? I draw the line with Tsoilo. I tried finding you. We went up and down, for scamming calls, receiving the scam calls, going around places, 13, 10, marry me, Sosha, baby, Gigi, yeah, yeah, that. I'm tired now. I'm drawing the line. It's fine. If it comes back, the police will bring it. If not, so after that, after Zeke's show, Zeke's accommodates me. And after that, the next day, early in the morning, I wanted to be in Nimpopo. <sighs> I went home. That that was it. Then I came home and I didn't have a car anymore. And then I stayed inside the house. And me, knowing myself and my skill, I start... Uh, Finding a, this guy called Madakh. I, 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 I find my dach. I find my dach. This is where, how I met my dach. I ask him, Brother, you work with cars? Sure. You mind me taking videos around your workshop when you work and it will in turn be advertising for your job? Because my dach doesn't stay far from my house. Uh, I stay in zone 4, he stays in zone 2, so it's a walking distance. Because I don't have a car, I can't be organizing shoots which require me to go far so it was tough when I was in Litabili when I went to Zeke's show you it was tough and not having a car is not cool it was tough because I had to bother people hey Glenn Umoka, come and take me hey Whitey Umoka, hey. And, and and that is bothering people as much as they would want you at their show I feel like I'm bothering them Yo, I, I, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like it. You know, that's when I realized that, nah, life could be better. I can't stay in this place and start shooting and travel. No, I want to get tired. I'm, I'm canceling everything. I'm going back to Limpopo. Although they tried and land, they said they'll accommodate me and whatnot. They'll take me to shows and whatnot. I was like, ah. The, oh, the last show I went to was, I didn't go home from Northwest. I went to Josie, Josie and I stayed in Josie. I went to Maporisa's show. Um, it's Slam, Slam, ish. The one at Lotus, click this link. I went to this show, I was walking. And then, yeah, after that video, it, it rained so hard. Yo, my gimbal is wet. My phone is just wet. Everything is wet. My pants is wet. That time I'm calling people to come and help me. What's Holo from uh, uh, Pinet? Um, uh, who tag, tags, tag, tags the plots? The hair barber, the one with the green Honda and white, the one Sabawell 2.0, the one with um, um, the Jetta. Yo, I was bothering people. Yo, 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 yo. I'm asking Zakes for transport to go to Lotus because I know Zakes. Zakes is a leader of a crew. Zakes assigns me to White. White assigns me to assigns. Uh, okay, Zakes assigns White to me. White calls me. 
Hey, Brahma, I'm supposed to fetch you. Zaiks told me that I'm supposed to fetch you, but blah, blah, blah. And I have this person. Can you please go to Pretoria? And from there, you will leave. And then I take a train. Pretoria. When I get to Pretoria, I say, yeah, I'm in Pretoria. I say, yeah, there's a guy named Kutsolo. He's going to come. And then Tolo pulls up. He's driving this white car, Opel Corsa. Takes me there. I'm wet. I'm even embarrassed to get in this car. It's raining as... But I get into the car and he just takes me there and I start vlogging. I start vlogging my train. And I realize that I can't live like this. I'm bothering people so much. I can't live like this. This is not me. And then from there I came home. So I started meeting Madakh. I look at Madakh. I'm like, look, I can vlog around this place. And not that I'm bragging, but I said I can make you popular. That's what I told him. I said I can make you famous. It's like, uh, yeah, I can make your work famous and I can make you famous. So, if you give me a chance, I'll show you. It's like, ah, uh, I think I know you. You are the guy who was working with King Manada. And I was like, yeah, sure. It's like, yeah, I think you know your stuff. Sure, let's work. And I start. Jeepers, creepers, jeepers, creepers, jeepers. And then now there's jeepers, creepers. Ah, and then one thing led to the other. And yeah. And I saved up and then I bought So it's why. And yeah, guys, that's just the story of how I lost that car in my journey in my life. How my life was after losing that car and whatnot. I loved it. It was my first car. It wasn't supposed to leave me like that. But hey, we move. I hope this clarifies you and I hope it gives you all the answers you've been wondering. Like, people have been asking, what happened to the car? Where people still ask. Like, I think they know it got, it got hijacked, but they still ask. Where is the green car? Just to <laughs> put pressure on me. And I, I hope you got all the answers you needed, guys. And yeah, as I asked you to be on the lookout for, for the car, I think I owed it to you to tell you what happened and what went down afterwards. And yeah, that is just it with it. And now I'm enjoying life. and Yeah, established here, Limpopo. And yeah, if there's a show, I get booked and I go to the show. I get booked to go to Guruman and I come back home. Get booked to go to, I felt like a, being in Gauteng in Northwest. It's not nice. I hated the place. Well, maybe I still hated it. Maybe I'll recover and go back, stay that side. Although there's a lot happening that side. But I haven't still recovered from. I'm going to be... Better, I'm gonna be bitter. I don't, I'm not gonna want people to come close to me. Uh, well, I'm waiting for myself to actually heal and be okay to live around that place because I don't want anyone close to me. I don't want you, you understand. So, yeah, I'm damaged. So, maybe one day I'll recover fully and then I'll go back to Houte and I'll do the shoots because it's really costly now to get me to your show in Houte. It's really, really costly because you're gonna cover the fuel and the tolls and the accommodation so you see it's gonna cost you but those who want really want cost and sentless they do pull it up they do bring it that's it so yeah guys that's the story i hope you got the scoop you wanted and yeah i hope i healed faster and i move on moved on no i have to switch one it's fresh it's clean and everything is happy now Let's go out and shoot episodes. From me, Gubi the Entertainer. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Minano. Bye bye.